Nearly 200 earthquakes were recorded in Yellowstone National Park. Hundreds of small earthquakes were detected under Mount Rainier. A wave of small earthquakes shaking Mount St. Helens in recent days. USGS again detects hundreds of earthquake swarms under Yellowstone and Mount Rainier, and Mount St. Helens magma chamber is being refilled. America's most dangerous volcanoes are rumbling again. The US Geological Survey has reported a significant surge of earthquake swarms under Yellowstone National Park and Mount Rainier while Mount St. Helens shows signs that its magma chamber is slowly refilling, a quiet but ominous reminder of the massive forces hidden beneath the surface. Yellowstone's endless quakes. Dot, in the past few weeks, Yellowstone has been shaken by hundreds of tiny earthquakes clustered in swarms across its vast caldera. According to USGS seismologists, these swarms are mostly occurring in the northwest section of the park near Donoris Geyser Basin and under Yellowstone Lake. Although the majority are micro earthquakes too small to be felt by humans, their patterns tell an important story. These earthquake swarms happen when hydrothermal fluids move rapidly through underground fractures, triggering minor slips along faults. Sometimes, deeper quakes hint at the subtle rise of molten rock or magmatic fluids from deeper chambers. The ground itself continues to subtly bulge and sink a natural breathing process of the supervolcano, with uplift rates recently recorded at up to 2 to 3 centimeters per year in certain areas. However, USGS confirms there is no immediate sign of a catastrophic eruption, though such persistent activity reveals Yellowstone is alive and constantly evolving. Mount Rainier's underground murmurs. Not meanwhile, just like its sister volcano in Wyoming, Mount Rainier in Washington state has been experiencing its own surge of seismic activity. Hundreds of small earthquakes have been recorded beneath its icy slopes over the last month. The quakes cluster primarily around the summit crater and the southwest flank, depths ranging from 1 to 5 kilometers. Mount Rainier is considered one of the most dangerous volcanoes in North America. Not because of explosive eruptions alone, but because its massive glaciers could generate devastating lapars, volcanic mud flows that could rush down the valleys and bury towns within minutes if an eruption occurs. Seismologists believe these earthquake swarms are linked to hydrothermal fluid movement or tectonic adjustments rather than an imminent magma rise However, they emphasize that any significant uptick in earthquake magnitude, volcanic gas emissions, or ground deformation would be an immediate red flag, prompting heightened alert levels. Mount St. Helens magma chamber slowly refilling. While Yellowstone and Rainier shake under tectonic and hydrothermal forces, Mount St. Helens in Washington has shown clear signs of magma recharge.
The USGS Cascades Volcano Observatory has recorded more than 350 small earthquakes under Mount St. Helens in the past few months. Notably, 38 earthquakes occurred in just a single week and a shallow M2.0 tremor on May 31st rattled the area. These earthquakes are happening at depths of 2 to 6 kilometers beneath the volcano's crater, suggesting that molten rock is slowly entering and refilling its magma chamber. Scientists stress that there are no signs of an imminent eruption. There is no unusual gas emission, no rapid ground deformation, and no thermal anomalies on the volcano's flanks. However, this process of magma recharge can continue for years or decades before eventually building enough pressure for an eruption. Mount St. Helens is America's most active volcano. After its catastrophic 1980 eruption that killed 57 people and flattened over 200 square miles of forest, it continued erupting intermittently until 2008. The volcano has remained mostly quiet since then, but these recent earthquakes are a reminder that its internal plumbing is being slowly refilled with fresh magma, recharging its potential for future explosive events. Why are these volcanoes active now? The Cascade Range, including Rainier and St. Helens and Yellowstone, which sits atop a continental hotspot, are part of America's volcanic arc created by subduction zones and mantle plumes. Movement of tectonic plates, rising heat, and fluid migration all combine to produce earthquake swarms. Sometimes these are harmless stress adjustments. Other times they indicate pressurizing magma chambers beneath the crust. Scientists message to the public. Us GS scientists urge the public not to panic but to remain aware and informed. They reiterate that Yellowstone S earthquake swarms are common each year and part of its geothermal life cycle.